countries are operating now in a different uh, context uh, of technology transfers in the bilateral relationship. So we need to, of course, assess what happens. Now, the difference is that the last time that they had started a defense trade and technology initiative way back in 2014, that has yeah. been assessed as not being very successful so far. And uh, I think one of the reasons was that the two countries did not really have an experience till then on talking to each other or partnering with each other in defense technologies. So there was a lack of understanding on both sides about what was possible, uh, what should be aimed for in the initial stages. And in the US, as you know, technology is held by the private companies, whereas the government authorizes from the national security perspective where the technology transfer should take place. So there are two stakeholders. So sometimes the government was willing to authorize, but the private company concern that held the technology did not find it profitable from its perspective to engage in technology transfer. Sometimes the private company was ready uh, to transfer technology, but the government didn't allow, keeping in view the national security perspective. Also, I think on occasion from India, our expectation of technology transfer were at levels higher than what the US was even willing to give it to its closest mm. allies and partners. So there was a bit of mismatch, so it didn't succeed. Mm. Now, what has happened since then is that first in 2016, the US declared India a major defense partner which was one way of permitting higher level of technology releases uh, to India. Because in the US system, countries are put in different categories for technology releases. Now, India was not an ally, mm -hmm. so it couldn't get releases of a certain order. So they created this category for India of a major defense partner. Later, President Trump in 2018 placed India on strategic trade authorization level one same level that the U.S. authorizes to its closest allies, including NATO allies. So that was raising the level of technology transfer possibility. And the third thing that has happened is that in January this year, the national security advisors of India and the U.S. met in Washington and launched a new initiative for a partnership in critical and emerging technologies. Artificial intelligence, quantum, cyber, 6G, biotech, defense, semiconductors, commercialization of space, signaling that from the national security perspective, they would like to encourage cooperation between India and the US in cutting edge technology areas, signal to different parts of the government and administration on both sides, and signal also to the private sector and academia in both countries, because that's where also a lot of work is done related to technology. And in the fact sheet that had been put out, by the White House after that meeting in January, there was a specific reference that they would try to expedite U.S. consideration of the proposal Form G for transfer of technology and production of India of jet engine technology, something that the U.S. had not done before. And there is the hot section of the jet engine, uh, which technology U.S. has not transferred to anyone except to the U.K. Yeah. So that yeah. works out, it would be something new. So now this is being discussed. Uh, so there is a new context, there's a new framework enabling technology transfers. Uh, the Indian Foreign Secretary, in fact, is in Washington on 5th and 6th June, starting a new framework of dialogue called the Strategic Trade Dialogue that was started in March after the launch of the initiative on critical and emerging technologies. And the main focus of this dialogue is to try and address any roadblocks that may come up in terms of allowing transfer of technologies when the two countries are looking for partnerships or companies on both sides are looking for partnerships. So now, of course, the as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So we mm. have to see whether following all the changes that have taken place, uh, higher level technology releases actually happen or not. And that now uh, remains to be tested. Mm.